I've seen the film, and like I said, you're all brave, and I'm honored to see this many people here to witness it on a Monday night. Sexual violence and rape should never be used in warfare, should never be used at all, and it should never be excused. Um, unfortunately, with all the evidence, uh, Daphne's help and others, the UN finally acknowledged it, but it took six months for them to say the evidence was credible. And in that time, we saw many of our own politicians deny this. And I, I want to be clear on the main reason I'm here. I always get a kick out of the fact that people think I'm here because I'm Jewish, because my family's Holocaust survivors, that's a big part of my, my, my identity. But like many of you, I've been there as a part of other you know, calls for help. And what bothers me the most and why I'm glad that there's so many from different communities here is that two things can be true. And when I teach my children, just like so many of you teach yours, empathy should not have a limit. I should mourn for your family in Gaza the same way you mourn for these people. I should want aid going into Gaza the same way I want hostages to come home. And you do not have to pick sides to have empathy and have a, you know, a seat at the table for humanity. And I think every single day, Please, this is not about sides. This is about seeing your daughter. It's about seeing your mother. It's about seeing your friends. It's about seeing your sister. And speaking to others and demanding they see this film and saying no. And not letting a very loud minority divide us. Because I can assure you that we are in the majority. Um, so with that, I want to thank you for having me. Thank my brother Sam for uh, inviting me to the screening, and then I found out I was hosting. <laughs> very, if you're from a Jewish family, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> um, but uh, thank you once again for coming to see this, and you'll see a video from my friend later, but I, I can tell you that so many people uh, put a lot into this film and took a lot of risks, and uh, it means a lot that you're witnessing it. It means a lot that you're spreading it, and I hope that when you leave here, you encourage all your friends and family to go on YouTube and do the same. And thank you very much. Oh, 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 I'm gonna get in trouble with her, I forgot something. There's one thing you told me to talk about. Anti-Semitism. <laughs> the, uh, the thing I wanna say about that is there's an underlying issue that many of your Jewish friends are going through, which is, why is this issue you're about to witness actually being ignored? And, you know, when we talk about anti-Semitism, all I want to offer for every single one of you out there is whether you are Jewish, whether you're Muslim, whether you're Christian, or whether you're an atheist, we all know what it's like to be ignored when we're crying out for help. And the importance of this is to realize that anti-Semitism, whether you want to believe it or not, plays a role in why there's so much silence around this. But the same thing we've all learned is, you know, that golden rule. Anti-Semitism is not the only problem in this country, in our community. Islamophobia is a problem in our community. Hate, in general, is a major problem within our community that scares all of us when it comes to our children. So when we ask you to scream out against anti-Semitism, you have every right to look us back in the eye and say, scream for me as well, and we all need to start screaming for each other. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you so much, Stuart. This is so wonderful of you. Words that I will never forget. I wanted um, to introduce our friend, Shel Sandberg, in a minute, but I wanted to first thank a few people for making this event really happen. And Sam, I want you to stand up, please. This is Scooter's brother, Sam. Thank you so much. And where is Amanda? Amanda, call back. Where are you? This evening would not be happening if not for Amanda. I don't know where you are. But thank you so much. Thank our committee for justice for women for everything you've been doing.
I want to thank Ros, Ros Dean, and for everything that her staff and her team have been doing. It, this evening would not happen without all these organizations coming together and making it happen. And with that, let me just say a couple of things. Cheryl Sandberg is a great voice. She's a great woman. In a world where it's so difficult for women to actually emerge, she's emerged with class and distinction. And it's made a huge different difference in our cultural world, but also for women. She's led women to believe in themselves. And Cheryl Sandberg has actually taken the helm to making sure that this film is supported by everyone, so everyone sees it. With that, let me introduce you to Cheryl Sandberg. this event here in our venue. Uh, we offer this house to the whole community. And so we welcome different ethnic groups and religious groups and as you'll see, uh, uh, different cultural events in our community. And tonight, this is such an important and compelling screening. This is something that has to be emblazoned in our consciousness of telling the story, the true story, and never allowing the truth to be extinguished. And that's what tonight, to a great measure, is about. And it's my great honor to uh, welcome a couple of people who are gonna come up and say a few words. Uh, firstly, uh, Scooter Braun, who uh, contributed enormously to the music and entertainment industry, a major activist against anti-Semitism, and he's got a special announcement to make. And one of my dearest friends, New York Times best-selling author, the founder of Justice for Women International and Children, Uniting Nations, uh, the very special Daphna Zyman. And, and as, as usual, Daphna brought her own fan club tonight. So uh, welcome everyone, and we hope you'll carry the message of tonight out with you and um, post it and let everyone know what you saw and how it impacted you. Thank you very much. My goodness, if every temple and every theater had Rabbi Baron at the helm, I think we would be such a great community. Please give him a huge hand. You know, tonight is very, very important. We've all watched television. We've seen the result of intolerance and hate. Just this weekend, we saw the attempt assassination because of intolerance and hate. And here we are tonight, and we've gathered together because every single one of you is a gatekeeper for the future of our children. Here, locally and globally. Tonight, we have brought together many cultures and many religions, particularly representative of the Jewish religion, the Muslim religion, women groups, and so many others that have an important voice in the entertainment industry as well, because media carries our voices. Co-hosting tonight with me is a person who has made a huge impact on the entertainment industry and the music industry, but that's not why I invited him here tonight. Scooter Braun stands at the helm 
of where we all need to move, to move towards. When he sees the wrong, he actually makes every effort to do something about it. Whether what he's done about the hurricanes, or what he's done for Make-A-Wish, or what he's done when there was terrorism incidents outside the Ariana Grande concert in Manchester. Scooter Braun has now, when he has seen what happened at Nova, he took the helm again and decided that it's not gonna stop there. And he's gonna tell you what he's actually doing about it. So I don't wanna steal his words. But it takes people like Scooter. It takes one to make a huge change in the world, just one. And each one of you can be one in a combination of many. And all together, we can have such a huge impact. Because what has happened on October 7th is below the tipping point of humanity. When girls are raped and mutilated as a way of calling warfare on a country, that's somebody else's daughter. It's somebody else's sister. It's some father's crying eyes and mother. And that is intolerable. Such horrific situations should never occur on the global map. So I want to thank you all for responding in such a way by being here together tonight. You're becoming a part of the pathway towards a better day tomorrow. I particularly want to thank some of the sponsors tonight. Stand with us, Ross Rostin and Esther are here. Thank you so much. Women's Voices Now, Heidi is here. Thank you so much. Couldn't have done it without you. The Muslim women organizations that are here tonight, thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart. Ross Kemper and Lena Kokorian Kemper, thank you for sponsoring. Michael Thornton, thank you so much for sponsoring tonight as well. And Patty Glazer, thank you for coming forward and supporting this whole situation. You're an angel. And we have somebody here who against all odds and against many threats, he's here to talk truth. And that's Ahmad, who is actually right here. Thank you, Ahmad. Ahmad's entire family was actually killed during the Gaza-Israel war. He is, was born in Gaza and he's here tonight because he couldn't tolerate what Hamas did on October 7. And that truth will ring forever. Thank you so much for your support and your love and your kindness and your truth. And with that, let me introduce my friend, somebody I truly admire, Scooter Braun. Um, never follow a best-selling author with remarks. <laughs> <laughs>